it's me, Tony from the Farm Old Mentor, and today I am going to be baking a rainbow cake. So today I'm going to be using this rainbow cake kit and it includes most ingredients and equipment. Other than that, we'll need milk, butter, four eggs, a whisk and a brush, and four bowls. Mwah. So, let's get started. So this is the rainbow cake kit I'll be using and inside there is one cake board and four cake mixes in four different colours. So we have red, orange, yellow and green. We also have a bag of icing sugar. And four cake tins and sprinkles. We also have four baking paper sheets to go inside the tins. Okay. As I mentioned before, the icing sugar came part of this rainbow cake kit, but I have already ready made um, chocolate and vanilla buttercream so I won't be using this and I'll be saving it for next time but for the decorating process I'll be using so the chocolate and vanilla buttercream some Oreos and these decorative wafer daisies I'll be using some pipe clear plastic piping bags and different piping nozzles and sprinkles so the first thing you want to do is get your bowl, whisk, and your first cake mix. For me, this is going to be my red cake mix and your one egg. So you're going to put our red cake mix into the bowl. Okay, then put... 60 grams of butter in. And now you just want to mix until it forms a crumb consistency. So I switched from the whisk to this um, plastic spoon because I was finding difficulties with the whisk but whatever works for you. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our cake tins. To do this, we will get our provided baked tins and line them with the provided baking paper. So get your brush and dip it in a bit of butter, not too much, and just wipe it across the tin and on the sides too. Get the baking paper and place it inside. Okay. 
coat it with another layer of butter. Do this for the other four baking tins. So first you want to preheat the oven to 180 degrees and gas for 4. So now I finished making all the cake mixes and now it's time to put them in the oven. Okay so now it's finished I just took them out of the oven and we are going to let them cool in the tins for 10 minutes and then let them completely cool on the drying racks after those 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's been 10 minutes. We are going to take them out the tin and let them cool completely. And we're going to remove the baking paper. Oh. Okay, so now the cakes have completely cool, we're going to start decorating them. So, I'm going to have green at the bottom and before I put the cakes on to this cake board I'm going to put a bit of buttercream on the cake board so it doesn't move around. Now I'm going to put the bottom piece of the cake, which is for me going to be green. I'm going to put that down and just make sure it's okay in the middle. Now we're going to start icing. Okay, to start icing, I'm going to be using a cup to help me out and get my plastic icing bag. You want to open it up and then put it inside the cup and fold it out. So it's going to look like that and you just want to open the inside. Okay, so now it's in there. We're going to start and put our icing inside and for my filling I'm going to use the vanilla one. squeeze it a bit so it goes a bit down okay now we're going to cut the end of the icing bag and this could be as high up as you want the higher it is the bigger the hole will be and I'm going to go for a bigger hole because we're just gonna be icing I 
and to fill in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be scraped up anyways you can get your spatula thing icing spreader whatever it's called and just spread it out It's fine, just try and make sure it's all level. Okay, I think that should be enough, and now we're going to add our second layer, which would be yellow. So get your second layer, put it on. bag I'm going to put it in the bin and use another one because in instead of reusing again because it's a hassle and they are plastic anyways so we're going to do the same thing with the icing bag finished with the third layer we are going to add the last layer which will be red which is it's on top so now we've added on this last layer we are going to scrape the sides and just make it nice and clean a little bit out. Okay, once it's smooth out, we're going to start with our crumb coat layer. So now we're going to ice the top like we did before. First I'm gonna Okay. We're gonna start. So now we've come coated this cake, we are going to put it in the fridge and let it chill for about 30 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, 
Okay, so since I want to make an Oreo butter cream, I'm going to get my Oreos and we are going to crush them. Okay, so what you want to do is put the Oreos into a bag. You can also use a food processor, a milkshake blender or any type of blender if you want, but I prefer to crush them. So I'm going to put about the, maybe the whole packet. so I actually gave up crushing it myself manually so I used a food processor and used that to crush them up to turn them into fine tiny little pieces I'm not sure if you can see but they have to be quite fine so now I'm just going to pour this in and I'm going to add it in gradually chunkier and not so fine so it's more visible in the buttercream you can also do that but I like mine just to be a bit finer so it mixes it in and it's not that chunky whoa that is good so with um, icing you want to keep going in one full circle and not stopping to get it that nice smooth icing. Oh! <laughs> That's fine. So I finished my drips, they look quite cool, I just need to clean it up a bit. Okay, so you guys can just decorate yours however you want, but I am going to put some swirls. Alright, that kind of feel, but it's okay. I'm going to be using some toothpicks. Grab your Oreo, stick the toothpick in the cream bit, make sure it doesn't show on the other side, and stick it into the cake.
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead with the Oreo buttercream and make a border. So we are going to use the sprinkles and around the edges. Put it around the border we made. Cartooned, and I kind of like it, especially these drips. It'd be better if I had them. Um... 